we now return to Mysteries of the Universe, the Dharma Initiative. A church, normally a place for worship, not a place of scandal. This church in Los Angeles has always been regarded as a sanctuary for the mind and spirit. Perhaps there is a secondary element to this church that our researchers pray to uncover. Mysteries of the Universe has discovered that this church has quite a large collection basket. Records state that this church has received funds upward of $1.5 million from a private organization. Observe the octagonal logo in the upper right corner. This is the same image found on the job posting. We have found hundreds of invoices for enough supplies to sustain a colony for quite some time. But not all items purchased make sense. Strange requests and purchase orders that cover the most unusual spectrum of mystery. 1.4 tons of seeds. Ammunition for M1 carbines. Pneumatic tubing. Animal care supplies. Zookeeper supplies. Electronics televisions, speakers, wires, but enough to service a town. Electromagnetic coils and Tesla coils, psychotropic drugs, other pharmacological supplies, and soft restraints. Ostensibly, the church is responsible for the procurement of these strange wares. However, our reporters' investigation into the church's financial records have proven there is nothing unusual. Furthermore, a stunning discovery is that the church does not own the very land it sits on. Research into the landowner's name has led our intrepid team to discover a dizzying array of shell companies that have ordered all the unusual supplies. Our investigation brought us to this man, a behavioral psychologist who works at a Los Angeles clinic. He too claims he was interrogated by the Dharma Initiative. He did not wish to be identified. My name is I am a behavioral psychologist with a strong background in pharmacology. The interviews were intense. They also interviewed my colleague. He was a chemist. His name was Olin or something or other. They asked me questions about every facet of my job, everything I've ever learned, or drug reactions, side effects, even things we were still researching, classified research, like Ludovico, etc. The Ludovico Technique. It's where a subject is repeatedly told a series of phrases or images, and upon repetition, the subject may eventually believe they are true. Some believe this may be called brainwashing. All the point, but I considered everything and I didn't think it was a humanitarian mission at all. When it came to my ethics and values, it, it could cross the line. I thought it was a cult. Not religious, but certainly have the same feel and, and, and actions of a cult. Ammunition, drugs, tranquilizers, but perhaps the strangest of all, submarine fuel. What type of organization would maintain and operate a submarine fleet? Why would they need one? The only time a submarine is used for clandestine purposes and operations is to sneak in and out of contestant waters under the cover of liquid night. During World War II, submarines were regularly used for transport to areas in the non-industrial locations in the South Pacific not suitable for large ships. Many of these vessels were lost at sea. But could they also be stolen or bought on the black market by the Dharma Initiative? Seemingly limitless resources and tendrils that touch every corner of society 